to heaven hear the new song
songs of the testing and the songs of the trials I will lift a cry of to you some with hope inside my eyes and sink or swim I'm diving into the fashion of your heart when love starts It's not a prayer I've prayed you haven't heard Not a tear I've shed that you didn't feel You're the God who comes to raise the dead I know you'll raise me up again I know you'll raise me up From the grave, I die to see the life you gave, just to see the life you gave. And every fear in me you've put to rest, it's the song I bring of your faithfulness. Every tear has led my feet to stand. Where the ocean meets the land, where the ocean meets the land. So sink or swim, I'm diving in where the river starts rushing, where my heart starts beating from the rhythms of the testing and the songs of the trials i will lift a cry up to you sung with hope inside my eyes and sink or swim i'm diving into the fashion
song to sing. Give me a song to sing. Give me a song to sing. I will sing it. Give me a song to sing. Give me a song to sing. Give me a song to sing. And I will sing it to you.
fiber of my being, believing the goodness of the Lord, the faithfulness of God. Just doing it Cause I've always done it Not just doing it Cause it's all I know But I'm singing a new song I'm singing a new song such thing as trite or overused every word is fresh on to you in this new song in this new song in this song of the redeemed Presence. Oh, I don't 
surrounded by your love It's wide, a love that's sweet, and help me, Lord, to never keep it to myself. And if my heart should dimly burn, and if my feet should fail to run, call my name and I will come right back to you.
stirring me a love that's deep, a love that's wide, a love that's sweet. And help me, Lord, to never keep it to myself. And if my heart should dimly burn, and if my feet should fail to run, call my name and I will come right back to you. stay close to you it's really that simple I want to stay close to you just as simple as this song I want to stay close to you it's really that simple I want to stay close to you my whole life long I want to stay close to you, it's really that simple. I want to stay close to you, just as simple as this song. I want to stay close to you, it's really that simple. I want to stay close to you, my 
trust that you know what you're doing. You're a God of your word. You're a God of your word. And your words are perfect. Promises are perfect, and your ways are higher than my own. Or give me an understanding, give me an understanding of who you are. Then I may not be afraid. I may not blame you wrongly. Oh, give me an understanding of who you are, oh God. A right understanding, right understanding. I know that you're not the God that my fears have shaped. You're not the God who disappoints. But you're a God who never lets me down. And who says there's no fear in love. I'm choosing to believe Choosing to believe Believe when I don't see Believe when I don't see stay close to you it's really that simple I want to stay close to you just as simple as this song I want to stay close to you it's really that simple I want to stay close to you our deepest desire to stay close to you. It is our deepest desire to go closer to you, God. God, we pray that you would challenge us to surrender every fear, every anxiety that we have in us, God. 
whether it is about our fear of man or fear about unplanned future or fear that is not clarified yet. God, we pray that you would let us to surrender our hearts to you, God, and let you be the king of our hearts, God. Your love casts out every fear in us, God. So we declare this in our hearts. We declare this in our faith. Let our hearts to really burn for you, God. And let our feet to run towards your kingdom. Be the center of our hearts. And let us root deep into you, God. Thank you, Lord. We want to stand on your name, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We'll now be going to a time of worship in the Word. So I invite you to open up your Bibles to Isaiah 40, verses 21 to 31. Once again, it's Isaiah 40, verses 21 to 31. Isaiah 40, verses 21 to 23. Do you not know? Do you not hear? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is He who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, and spreads them like a tent to dwell in who brings princes to nothing and makes the rulers of the earth as emptiness. God, we sing out amen to this word. Before the world began, your word was there. That it is you who reigns and rule over the world and there's no one who can be compared to you. Lord, we give you praise for you choose to speak to us and building the relationship with us, though there was no need for you to listen from us. But you humbled yourself to interact with us and even desire to go deeper and become relational and personal to us, God. No power on earth can be compared to yours. And nothing can be equal to who you are.
to bring restoration of the beauty from the ashes.
God, we praise you. Your name is powerful. Your name is powerful. From the beginning, your name carries so much weight. Oh, your name carries so same much power. Word from the beginning, who spoke things into being? Same word, the same word. There is no chain your love can break. There is no chain. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown. Scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth. When he blows on them, and they wither. And the tempest carries them off like stubble. To whom then will you compare me? That I should be like him, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their hosts by number, calling them all by name, by the greatness of his might, and because he is strong in power. Not one is missing. Lord, we worship you for your great power and incomparable strength. Stars, trees, mountains, and seas, all nature shows how great and mighty God you are. You are the Holy One. And you have no rival. We pray that you will bring us into deeper revelation day by day to know the God whom we worship and praise, for you are ruling over the nations. Not a single one is missing because the depth of your care and love for the world is immeasurably deep. When you say you call the stars each by name, how big your heart would be towards us, whom you brought yourself on the cross for. We were made in your image. Come and fill us with your presence, God.
not one is forgotten. We are your creatures. Not one is forgotten. We are made in your image. Not one is forgotten. It is you who molded us, who shaped us in your image. Not one star in the sky, not one atom in this universe. Oh, not one is forgotten, not one is overlooked, not one is unknown by you, oh God. God, we declare we belong you to you. You who knows all things. We belong to you, Father. You who knows all things. Oh, you see all, you know all, you remember all. For a moment, have you forgotten one? Oh, this is your perfection. This is your greatness. This is your majesty. Oh, this is your perfection. This is your greatness. This is your majesty. This is your perfection, this is your greatness, this is your majesty, this is your perfection, this is your greatness, this is your majesty, oh. Not one is forgotten. Take your place. Not in one us, is forgotten. Take your place in us. That we can declare that we belong to you. We belong. We belong. We belong to you. We belong to you. Belong to you, belong to your family. We belong to your family. I in you, and you in me. That I belong to my father. I belong to my father. You want a family. If we know that we belong to you. Can stop us to go forward. You want a family. Who can stop us to love you, you more? Family. We belong to you, Father. We are your Come family. and take your place in us. We are your family. Let us declare your name over our life. Oh, take your place in our hearts. Take your place in our lives. Oh, we are your family. Family, we are your family. We are your family. Oh, oh, Christ in us, and we are in Christ. Make us walk. We are your branches. We belong to you, Father. We want to know your heart. We are yours and you are ours. Speak to us of what's inside of your heart. We are yours and you are ours. I want to dwell in you. Oh, I'm here in your presence. We're here. Yes. 
sons were here in your presence. We're here in your presence. We're here in your presence. We're here in your Isaiah 40, verses 27 to 28. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. with deep gratitude if there's any bitterness or misunderstanding of who you are to us. You are a good God who is for us and who knows what's best for us. If there's anything that hinders us to come closer to you, like our false assumption or misunderstanding, like you are hiding from us, or you don't see our troubles, we pray that you will come and conquer our hearts with leading us into the true repentance and renouncing from those thoughts. You never grow weary. You never grow weak. No one can measure the depth of your understanding. Lord, open our eyes and let us see and know that you are for us and let us be in awe with your greatness. Bye. 
Father. You're my Father. to a point where I am weak Lord would you come and speak what is true speak what is true reveal to us of who you are and who speak we are in you what is true
to hear your truth. There's not a season in the highs or the lows where I shouldn't be singing. Speak what is true. is my constant speak what is true speak what is true Isaiah 40 verses 29 to 31 gives power to the faint and to him who has no might he increases strength even youth shall faint and be weary and young men shall fall exhausted but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Lord, we confess that many times we fall into despair, facing our own flaws and lack. We repent from us growing weary, not fully knowing that exhaustion and anxiety don't belong to us who truly believe in your name. We put our trust and hope in you, and you will set us to find new strength in you because you give power to the weak and strength to the powerless.
walk and not be faint. I can keep going knowing that your strength is sufficient for me. Your power made perfect in me in my weakness. It's made perfect in my weakness. You're made perfect in my weakness. Made perfect in my weakness. You are who you say you are. And you're enough to perfect us. in my weakness. You're enough for us. We gain strength in you. Made perfect in my weakness. Sits in my weakness. But I can take no credit for myself. It's in my weakness that I can see. The fullness of your glory in and through me. Your glory in and through me. Thank you. Thank you, God. Father God, thank you for the revelation of who you are. Thank you for teaching us that there is so much power in your name. In your name, we find new strength. In your name, we are refreshed. Lord, strengthen us in your name that we can boldly proclaim your love over our lives, God. As you call us tonight to pray and to seed for the nation, for your nation, Israel. We want to invite your presence in this place to renew our hearts that we can desire for, that we can carry the desire for this nation like how you do, God. Fill us with your heart. And let us be in agreement with you, God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, pray. Amen. We'll now be going into a time of intercession for Israel. We'll be declaring God's favor to be poured out in many areas of Israel. So I invite you to come in agreement with my prayer and follow up with your own intercession. Yes, Lord, it is your mouth where knowledge and understanding comes from. God, we pray that your faithfulness will be the unending resources that fills the land of Israel. We pray that you will rule and reign over the land of Israel. We pray
pray for your people whom you have chosen to be the leaders of your nation. And we pray that they will lead the nation with wisdom and discernment. Lord, we also pray that you will fill government agencies with your people who carry fear of the Lord deep inside of their hearts. That they will implement your leadership in your nation and your name will be glorified in the Mount of Zion. Let's pray. as love endures forever. A strong hand and an outstretched arm for his love, his steadfast love endures forever. Lord, we declare this verse over Israel and its diplomatic relations. Lord, we pray for your continuous protection over Singapore as it sparked protests across Muslim majority countries like Malaysia and Indonesia that are around the nation of Singapore. Before and after Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu's visit last Friday. We also pray for your favor on every conversation as the Prime Minister of Israel have been meeting the Prime Minister of Australia since yesterday in Australia as he's 
the first ever prime minister who visited there in their residing period. Lord, we pray that you will cover Israel with your steadfast love and bless her to have active and mutually edifying exchanges with other nations. Let's pray. David praised your name, saying that you are favorable to your land. You restore the fortunes of Jacob. Lord, restore your land, your nation Israel again, God. We pray that Israel will be revealed more to other nations with their excellence in many areas. We pray that many areas, even like their education system, of how they're raising their kids with father's heart in your name will influence people in other nations. We pray for your favor on exhibition of Israel, Israeli relics in Busan, Korea that will be opened from February 1st to March 30th. We pray that people in Korea even will have interest and carry attention to your nation. Father, we also pray for prosperity as many businesses and startups have opened in Israel. Fill them with more creativity and impactful leadership as we declare restoration for the fortunes of Jacob over your nation. Let's pray.
you prophesy through your word that your children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God. Jesus, you will open the veils of their blinded eyes to see who you are and to know who the Messiah is. And we are in agreement with you and we are here to being to um, being in agreement with your heart, God. Lord, let more of intercessors to arise in your name. We lift up Messianic Jews that in you, that in you, that will renew their strength to stand bold in their beliefs. We pray that you would restore their hearts once again to call out your name and put their hope and trust in you that they will mount up with wings like eagles. Let's pray. our agreement with your heart again. Once again, we pray for the government of Israel. We pray that you will set your people and the government agencies who carries affection and love for your people. The people who will steward the wisdom and discernment that you have given them, but also who carries such a deep and genuine affection and love for your people, Jesus. God, we declare your favor upon diplomatic relations. 
we pray that, Lord, as Israel is reaching out to many nations to build a lot of relationship with other nations, we pray that there will be no place for misunderstanding, but clarity will just really paint it all over their conversations. And you will bless them with a really such a good, deep relationship with other nations, God. We also pray for Israel to be influential to the world, God. We pray once again the blessing upon businesses and startups that have opened in Israel. We pray favor and blessing upon these, um, upon these businesses, God. That we will, the whole world will see and witness the restoration of the fortunes of Jacob. And lastly, God, we pray for the salvation of Israel. Whenever we pray for the salvation of Israel, we confess and repent, God, that sometimes there are many times actually that we don't really fully, genuinely believe like how you do, that you will bring the salvation upon this nation, God. But as we are repenting this heart, God, we pray that we would, we would, you would renew our hearts and we would know that it is already planned and said in the Bible that you will let them to have an open eyes to see the true Messiah and to know the true Messiah, Jesus. So God, we pray for the salvation of Israel once again. And we acknowledge you and your faithfulness. Lord, come and fulfill your words. We want to stand by you holding those words in our hands and mouth. We pray all these things, God, in your name. Amen. I need you to soften my heart and break me apart.
your spirit strong in me my flesh may fail my god you never will i may be weak but your spirit strong in me my flesh may fail my god you never will and i may be weak but your spirit strong in my flesh may fail, but my God, you never will. I may be weak, oh, with your spirit strong in me. And my flesh may fail, my God, you never will. Give me faith. Trust what you say, that you're good and your love is great. I'm broken inside, I give you my life. Lord, we confess that there are times that we lack faith. There are times that we have trouble believing that you are who you say you are. And God, we just ask that you would continue to renew our hearts, renew our minds, align us with your truth. And you would speak what is true. That your truth would be so much louder than the doubts and the lies and the fears that come at us. And we repent, God, of the ways that we've blamed you, the ways that we've seen you for who you aren't, that we've falsely accused you. God, we want to know the real you. We want to know who you are. And we want to love who you are. So we humble ourselves before you, God. And we acknowledge that we need your grace. We need your grace. We need your strength. We need your truth to fill us to soften our hearts. And God, we thank you already for the work that you've done in this room today. The Holy Spirit, your ministry is powerful. You speak through your word. You speak through these songs. And that even when we turn away from you and that even when we try to run away from you, your love chases us down and your truth chases us down. So God, we leave this place with thanksgiving and in faith that you're going to continue to refine us and renew us in your love. We pray all of this in Jesus' name.